hello welcome back in this video we will learn about how to do processing of date which is given in form of string or text so here you can see that i have some stock data which i've selected some random data now i want to sort this data as per my selling date so i have selected this data now i select data sort range select advanced sorting now since my data has a header i select my data has header row and now from here i select cell date i click on the sort button so with the hope that i'll get my data sorted as per date if i see my data i'll find that my data is not sorted as per date so this is the problem we are going to address in this video let's get started So first let us understand that why I am not able to sort this data as per date format. The reason is uh, this date is not actually date, it is actually a string and you see that how it is getting sorted, it is getting sorted as per uh, this uh, alphabets or say numbers. You see there 1, 2, then we have 1, 4, then the first character is 2, then first character is 3, then first character is 5. So it is not actually checking as per date, but it is checking as per, uh, as per, as if it is a string. So it is basically doing the string sorting, not date sorting. Okay, so let us understand that how we can know whether date is really a date or it is a string. So generally the string in Excel or Google Sheet or kind of spreadsheet program will be left justified whereas numbers will be right justified. So here you can see this value 1 is right justified and this is actually date which is also right justified but here you find uh, this date which is actually string which is left justified. So converting date which is given in string or text into actual date it requires two steps the first step is you convert that string into date value so date value is one number after that the second step is you convert that date value which is a number into date representation so for that there is a two date function so let us see it one by one but before that let us check whether the string really contains a date or it does not contain a date so for that there is a function called is date so let us use it i use that function is date and is a is an argument i'm passing this particular date so I'm getting true so what it tells that this string represents a date suppose I write instead of J A N if I write J A N U January if I hit enter it will return as false because this does not represent a valid date Okay, let us see the first step so that is converting string into date value so there is a function called date value and you can see that it is taking date under, underscore string as the parameter so i select this date it is going to return me one number now let us understand what is this number so this number represent number of days have passed since one particular date so you can see here i'm getting date value one for this date 31st december 1899 so basically this is the uh, starting day number for date values if you write any date past this date you'll get a negative number 
the same way i can do it for other two dates okay so you can see here i have this two dates which are consecutive so i'm also getting two consecutive numbers so there is a difference of one digit here since we have difference of one day here so uh, this number will be incremented for each day okay so once we have this date in form of date value or number now i can convert that number into date representation so for that there is a function called to underscore date so let us use it to underscore date now this one is taking date value which is a number as the input so i select this with the enter key so now i'll able to get that date in the date format okay so now you can see that this is right justified or right align whereas this date is left align because this is actually in the date format or date encoding whereas this is not in form of date encoding basically it is a string so now this concept we are going to apply into our original data let us come back here first i sort this data back into original order so sort it as per the script names okay so i'm getting this data now i'm going to add one column for cell date which will contain date in the actual date format okay so as i discussed earlier that i have to apply two steps first step is you represent that string into date value using date value function and then you convert that number which is actually date number into actual date format so we have two underscore date and it will take number of the date which is date value and using this date which is string will be converted into date value and then date value will be converted into date format okay i hit the enter key i apply that formula for other records also now i can represent this date in format similar to this so that i can relate whether these dates are same or not so this date is number as discussed in the beginning i select format as custom date and time now from here i can select this one so that i can read select apply so now you can see that i am able to read this date but essentially it is same the only difference is uh, this column contains date but which is in the string format left align whereas this contains date which is in the date format and it is right align okay now let us select this data now instead of selecting my data as per column c i'm going to select um, i'm going to select sort data as per column e so let us select date data then sort range now here i'll select cell date okay so now you can see that i can sort data as per date so i'm getting april then june august september december then february month of 2021 in this way we can convert date which is in form of string into actual date format okay so now let us understand that in which situation this will be useful so whenever you are getting some data which is a, a report 
or some transaction statement from bank or from your stock broker generally these statements are created automatically using some software so they might have used uh, uh, this string representation for representing date so that's why we are not able to do processing on the date column in this kind of situation you can convert date in uh, date which is in form of text or string into actual date format thanks for watching now i suggest that you try to apply this concept to two to three different problems so that you can easily remember it